distinct practitioners in each field. Hello and welcome to See You at USC. Today we're very excited to have Mira Furlon here, the actress who you may know as Danielle Russo from the hit series Lost. It's all coming up next on See You at USC, the best college talk show on television. Hello, and welcome to See You at USC. I'm your host, Lara Berman, and today I'm thrilled to have actress Mira Furlon with us. Thank Hello. you for being here. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me. Now, you are a well-known actress in this country, but what a lot of people may not realize is that you started way back in Yugoslavia. That's right, in a country that no longer exists. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get there, uh, mm -hmm. what drew you to acting originally? Oh, uh, hmm. Um, well, you know, all children love it, and so I was not an exception. But I actually was interested in music. I, I love mm. to sing. I played piano. Um, I sang. I mean, performing was always something that I enjoyed, you know, mm. since I was a little girl. Uh, but then kind of it, it, it stopped. I didn't do it. Um, I was not a child actor. Okay. Uh, and then other things uh, caught my attention, especially when I was in uh, high school. Um, I wanted to write. I wanted to study languages. Languages are my other love and my, my interest. And uh, I, I studied English and French at the University in Zagreb. Um, but then there was this bug in me, you know, <laughs> that just didn't want to go away. And I went to a high school um, that was specialized in uh, languages. Okay. Um, and I had a teacher who just came, a very young, um, ambitious, um, wonderful, very creative, talented guy um, who um, uh, who just finished Oxford. I mean, he, he did his PhD in uh, medieval English literature and we all adored him and he taught um, once a week and did a play in third grade um, high school. I did a play with him in English, as a matter of fact, which was very interesting. Um, and um, foretelling. And we foretelling. somehow, I'm mean, somehow, it, it's weird how life <laughs> plays this little um little things um uh, uh, anyway um we performed uh we had maybe one or two performances I, i'm not quite sure um and at that uh at that uh performance that one performance i really had this epiphany you know wow. uh, in third grade in third grade high school um and I just knew that that was the thing that was so exciting, that was so magical, um, um, that was so empowering mm. in so many ways, um, that I I fell in love there. So even <laughs> and you then, you know, right. and then I tried it out. I mean, I I was not sure, um, you know, but but that 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 happened. That that moment happened. And uh, then I tried it out. I kind of didn't say, you know, that's how it went. I didn't say anything to my parents. I went uh, for the um, um, entering exam, which was kind of, uh, kind of hard, and many people wanted it, and uh, many people uh, didn't get in. And I thought, if I don't get in, I'll do my other thing. You know? Right. I'll my do languages, plan. my backup plan. Right. <laughs> um, uh, but I did get in. and. It kind of really, you know, it was a choice that marked my life hmm. for well, better or for worse. I don't know. I mean, it's, a, it's a debatable <laughs> I would say thing. For better. I think your fans would agree. <laughs> oh. uh, but it's great that you were able to trust your intuition at such a young age and really follow your dream and not get uh, sidetracked by the path you were on, which was the language path. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? I mean, who knows? You know, I uh, then I studied languages and uh, theater and film mm -hmm. uh, parallelly. I mean, I, 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 I ran from one university to the other every single day. And uh, my, my life was just work, 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 work until I began um, to actually perform and work and get jobs at a very young age when I was still uh, a student. Mm. And then somehow this other thing, you know, was pushed away. I just couldn't do it. I physically couldn't do it. Mm. And so um, I never graduated from my studies of languages, which sometimes I think I should have. <laughs> So graduate. <laughs> when you tell your son he has to graduate. Exactly. Right? Exactly. 
Um, and somehow it, you know, I flew with the, I, I, I surrendered to the flow to what right. was happening. And the things that were happening were quite extraordinary. I mean, you gained a lot of prestige and recognition in Yugoslavia. What was it like? You even won two of the Golden Arena. Which yeah, is yeah, yeah. Like wow. our you, you did your research. Um, yeah, I, I um, it all happened at a very, uh, uh, you know, it, it happened quickly and it happened uh, easily somehow. Mm. And uh, then, you know, later, I mean, you know, life is complicated in that way. Things happen, but then they stop happening. And then you find yourself asking yourself, like, what, 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 what did I do? <laughs> what, why are things not happening? Right. Um, why, um, the, you know, this ease with which things were happening is not continuing. But, mm. but sometimes it doesn't. And it's not really up to you. I mean, that's something that we all... That's a lesson of it's life. It's a hard lesson. It's a very hard lesson. Very it's hard. It's one of the hardest ones. Um, uh, that you are not really in control. Mm. Not completely. I mean... And we'd you, so like to believe yes, we are. We, it's hard we to do. let go. Exactly. But you have to. And sometimes things happen that are completely outside of your control. Can you like, for example, example yeah. a war. Right. <laughs> what was it like working in that environment? Or Well, you know... Um, I was, uh, so, you know, to get back to, to, to my life story or career story, um, things happen very fast. Uh, I did uh, a lot of work in theater. Right. Um, I played many roles for which I was not ready at the time, but that's, you know, the story of an actress, especially of a female actor. Um, you get pushed into those roles of these mature women with three children and so on. I mean, you're 25, you have no idea what's going on, mm. but you do them. Uh, uh, once you're actually ready for those roles, uh, they don't come to you. Mm. They come to younger actresses. Right. And so it's all about youth. It's um, about many, many, you know, many aspects of this profession are very um, hard to deal with sure. and uh, merciless and cruel and maybe not just and so on, but you have to deal with them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> mm, um, but um, um, take with the good with the bad. Yeah, I guess so. Mm. I guess so. And then once you know the scale goes up on the bad <laughs> side, you're not so sure that your choices were right. Uh, mm. But anyway, you asked me how how was it um, working in a pre pre war. I mean, in a in a in a in a pre-war uh, kind of um, uh, environment, right. it was really, really tough mm. uh, and horrible and disturbing and frustrating and you felt very helpless. And that's how an individual feels uh, during those times. Mm. Uh, things are completely out of your control. Uh, you feel that um, people around you, the whole society, um, the media, even your friends, you are going to another direction that you can't take that seems so foreign and so um, uh, unacceptable. Right. Again, your you. intuition is like piping up. Yeah. And you can't, um, you can't understand what's going on. And you think then you, you know, you, you, you're filled with this doubt that you might be the crazy one. Right. Who's crazy here? You know, those who are, you know, engulfed with those nationalist feelings and, you know, it's, 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 it's things. I mean, it's a strength of character. I mean, it speaks well of you that despite everyone sort of following the flock, mm -hmm. that you were still able to have your own ideas and listen to yourself and really say, hey, I don't agree yeah, with this. Yeah, and you were very that's... outspoken about that and in I a was. public. Yeah, I was. I arena. was. I, I felt that. Um, I, I was a well-known actor. I felt that there is a responsibility to that position. And I, I, but you know, it's not a calculation that you make in your head. It's just an instinct again. Yeah. And you do what seems right. And you, you know, I was playing, I was, I was living, um, I was married to, to uh, my husband uh, uh, who uh, lived and worked in the you know the the other city the the city that was the capital of the enemy state so all at once i was put you know in between those two warring factions 